everybody, this is Sheldon from Show My Art. Welcome to my channel. And I'm going to be doing a dump and swirl for this Sunday fun day acrylic crazy train ride. But before I get started, um, let me give you the lineup. Um, it started off with um, Cy Frost um, as he's doing the whole live with the joy of pouring. And then following him was Darren Nixon and he lets you know um, whether or not your um, paints were too thin or not for the um, bloom technique. And then we had um, Creations by Christy and she was showing you how to do the um, Nikki, D, Nikki D Aura Swipe. And then now it's me, I'm going to be a dump, doing a dump and swirl, but unlike my other dump and swirls that had the black pillow or the black dump paint, I'm going to be using a nice striking red as a uh, dump paint. So we'll go over the colors in a minute. And following me will be Britta Clayton from Britta Clayton Designs. And then as our caboose as usual, will be Lance Travis from Pouring with Lance Travis. So let's get over, let's get over to the canvas and I will show you exactly what I'm doing, okay? Thank you for riding. Okay, everybody, I'm to my canvas now. And uh, let me go over my colors with you. Clearly, I scraped this twice and I will tell you why. Um, my dump color in the first time was red, but it did not, the other colors didn't react to it because I didn't test it first. So uh, since I tested all the colors and their consistencies, now they're reacting properly. So let me go over the colors. This first color is titanium white mixed with um, Extreme Sheen by Decorart um, Champagne Gold to give it some shimmer. This here is Extreme Sheen Decorart Amethyst but I want a deeper color, so I added Colorado's Deep Amethyst, Deep Amethyst to it, made this nice, beautiful purple color. This is Aquamarine, um, Extreme Sheen Deco Art. This is Fandango with um, Extreme Sheen um, Emerald. This is um, Colorado's uh, Sour Lemon and Decoir Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold. And this is Decoir um, Tangerine, I believe this one's called. And this is my dump color, which is Artist Law Flow Acrylic in the red. Um, this is a painted canvas. This is a large canvas, so I know um, Britta's gonna be happy to see this one, if it turns out right. Um, but I'm going to explain very quickly about the deco art. Um, there's a thing called buoyancy and density. And dense paints sink and buoyancy, buoyant, buoyant paints float. So color art colors have the beautiful colors to them, but they're not quite as buoyant as Deco Arch Extreme Sheen. So I kind of put the two and two together to add the buoyancy for um, paints to make the cells, but I need the rich colors from Color Art to give me the um, palette that I was looking for. So that's how you have it. So the red's gonna sink down and the buoyant colors are gonna rise up to make the cells. So let me get you to the- Okay, folks. Um, I'm back, got my gloves on. Um, this type of pour was inspired from Dwight, um, from Dwight Pours, Dwight Myers. And so I learned a lot by watching him. And a lot of, uh, most, a lot of his pieces, see they have a black dump coat or a white dump coat. So I just figured that, you know what, I'm gonna go with the fall theme. Let me see if I can work with a um, red dump coat. So let me add my colors down and we'll see how this goes, okay? 
And then after I'm finished dumping it, I will put it on uh, fast mode so you can see how it develops. And my dump color, which is the red. Hold it low, dump it fast. Let's see how let me tilt this puppy out, and see what happens. Let me go to that corner first. Come back. Let's come a second. Come back down. It's the 24 by 36 canvas, so there's a lot going on as far as what I have to get off this, how much color I have to use to get around it. So there's a look up there. So let me get you back to the center. You have to move around these big pieces too, which is interesting to do. Definitely nice and bright. All right, so now I'll put you on uh, fast mode. We'll see how that develops. This is my flyover for the final um, wet result. Just want to give you a nice look at some of how these cells develop. Um, see some of these orange cells here? They're green. And then that deep amethyst um, popped up through there. And that red lacing is kind of edged in yellow. It's popping through as well because the base, you know, that flood coat was red. And then you see all these nice, beautiful blue cells coming through here. And that stark bright sunshiny yellow in there. And then you have that green and that blue, that aquamarine 
off you there. And right inside of here, you see some of that aquamarine with some of that blue, and you can see some of that um, deep amethyst um, bordering that. But I'm gonna pull this back to see if you can get the whole picture of how that flow goes. So you can see how this part comes here, and then you can see more of this coming around like that. Then you have another second layer coming like that. So uh, design-wise, I think it's a beautiful piece. And so I'm very happy with it. I like this balance of the red here and then the red orange here. So that's a nice balance. So the whole piece kind of comes through, you know, like this. Now I'm just trying to decide whether or not I want to hang it on the wall in this orientation or whether or not I want to hang it up in this orientation. I do like this one better, but we'll see how it looks in the, on the wall once it's dry. But this is my first, well, this is my largest one of the of day, of the day. Right? That, that the way it's here, honey? To date. My largest one to date. So, thank you for watching, and this is Sheldon from Sherlock Art. And up next will be Britta Clayton from Britt Clayton Designs. So stay on the train and happy pouring. Bye-bye.